Welcome to Homemade Movies Rewind. I'm rewatching all the Homemade Movies episodes from 10 years ago. This is what I would consider season three of Homemade Movies. This is the final season where I was really serving continuously as uh, executive producer, producer, director, everything. So this is kind of my last hurrah until it took on life in other ways. So this is the Top Gun dogfight scene. This came out uh, 10 years ago on January 14th, 2014. Oh boy, so now this is the new season where we had two weeks to do an entire Homemade Movies episode instead of it coming out once a week. So this is just Ben and I together. He's working with me full time and he spends one week kind of prepping all the props and everything and the costumes and gets ready for the shooting. That week I'm working on my animated show for Cinefix, The Cutting Room. So go check that show out. It's a lot of fun. I had a guy named Jeff Campbell working full time, working on prepping episodes for the animated show with me during that first week. Then the second week, Jeff would finish all the animation. I would jump over here with Ben, you know, jump into the dining room and we would shoot the whole thing. So it was a nice kind of two week setup. Uh, at least it was nice in theory. Ugh, it went off the rails quickly and Cinefix, uh, there was a little bit of change of management there and they kind of made my life a <laughs> living hell. So anyways, let's just watch. It was a fun episode. Oh, by the way, if you remember, <laughs> this is the one where my computer crashed and we pretty much almost lost the entire episode. But I'll talk about that more in a little bit. Here we go. Damn it, fist. Yeah. You will notice no more intros. No more talking intros. I just insisted we can't do those. They're awful. Get right into the episode. Real explosions still, yeah. Okay, so this is a good example of a, an episode where it's fairly straightforward because we have all the cockpit stuff. So once I'm in this outfit, I can just go down the list and we just shoot, you know, Ben's shooting, facing me, holding the camera, we get all of my shots. Then we put Ben in there with his costume. I'm holding the camera, we shoot all his stuff. Then the two of us just do all the miniatures together. So it's kind of a simple formula. We wish more scenes could be kind of as straightforward as this one. <laughs> oh, this was also when I decided to try to change the look of the show to get back to more simplistic stuff. We were really going crazy, getting so detailed with things. And, you know, that's entirely on my fault as the leader of the show of, you know, being too perfectionist about stuff and like, oh, well, there's a perfect glare here. So we have to do this. We have to do this. And I started thinking like, no, what's the essence of what's in this scene? Um, like, this is a perfect shot. Like, those are not realistic looking clouds. If you look at the side by side, that's not what the clouds look like. But does it really matter? What's the actual point? Well, the point is they're flying by the clouds. So um, this time around, I really instructed Ben to think more simply, uh, for both of us, to think more simply as far as what shapes, what do we see? How do we keep it basic? Oh, there's a blue sheet and there's little cute cartoony clouds. That's it. As opposed to like, well, we have to spray paint and make sure that these clouds are very realistic and stuff. Uh, like I said, in the big Star Wars scene, that was something that I look back on and I kind of regret is not just being more simplistic with it and you get the idea. So that's what we really tried to embrace in this new season. We've got a problem here. We've only got one missile left. Approaching 110 miles, sir. Yes, <laughs> damn it. A couple inserts with us. Yeah, these costumes are great. Ooh, there's a little stop motion, that uh, construction paper. You haven't lost him. He's still with us. <sighs> Strings. Love it. Yep, love those clouds. So basic. I'm bringing him in closer, Merlin. Gonna do what? Yeah, I love the little game controller. Transparencies going over the toys. Brakes will fly right by. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love those kind of graphics. There was kind of a pain to do, but they look so cool. These are not realistic. You know, those aren't the right. Jets, I'm sure people in the comments had a lot to say about that. That was a fun little missile on the end of a, like a pipe cleaner. All right, well, thanks for watching Homemade Movies. I'll be sure hey, to check out the there you go. Scenes. Okay, so I did retain um, saying the outro in whatever the last shot was as much as possible, because that was always fun. Like the, uh, what was the one Batman where like I popped up over the fence, that always made me laugh. So um, yeah, I talked about it at length, but um, it was, it sounds lame now, 10 years later, but it was an absolutely huge deal my whole computer crashed and then I was on the phone with tech support. They were trying to remote, try and fix it. And then this stupid, you know how this goes, like you're on the phone for hours and hours and hours and they're like, well, do this and do this reset. It was like, are you sure this isn't gonna delete everything? No, it'll be fine. 
Okay, we ran it, it deleted everything. Oh my gosh, it was an absolute nightmare. And I had most stuff backed up, but I had some stuff that we were currently working on on hard drives and I failed to like make a backup, like an actual secondary backup, which is a mistake I'll never make again, always backup. But this is 10 years ago. Uh, we were just like flying by the seat of our pants to get this done and hard drives were expensive. There's no excuse. I wasn't backing up properly. Um, so everything that we were working on um, with the exception of the original footage on the cards, because those still existed, and the first cut that I put together and put on Dropbox that was a low quality one. So Ben actually um, really helped out by re-editing the whole episode just to my low quality Dropbox version using the original footage, just matching everything I'd already edited while I redid all the sound and the voices and we got it out in time, we didn't miss a beat. But uh, the next few weeks were horrendous because I was still trying to recover. I was still on the phone with tech support. I, I still like get PTSD just thinking about it. And I'm not even exaggerating. It was like, it was a really big deal. So anyways, glad those days are long over. Okay, what's the next episode? Ah, yes, we have Robocop. This is a really fun one. It was the new Robocop movie that uh, was coming out. Um, of course, this is going to be in two weeks. Um, so I'll see you in two weeks for Robocop. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.